All right, mofos. I know you've seen the title. You know what's going on here. All right. So basically, um, it's going to be a 3S uh, 12 volt, or actually 11 volt nominal. Each battery is 3.7 volts. Um, each pack, each individual pack is going to be about 145 amp hours each. So uh, all together, you're looking at about 1.6 kilowatt of power. Kilowatts of power. A oh, tongue twisted today. But anyway, uh, as you can see, I already got started on this. Um, these basically came out of these are returns from uh, Amazon Fire tablets. That's exactly what they are. And um, it actually got these connectors here. If you can see this connector here that connector there on there and basically what I did was uh, I took uh, these wires here right and uh, I took this that connector off and then I took these wires and um, basically soldered uh, what is this about 18 gauge 18 gauge wire soldered onto the positive and negative leads you know and um, pretty much Pretty much almost done and I jumped ahead but uh kind of excited to do this this video and uh you know without further ado what we're gonna get into is uh building this pack and actually testing it to see what it can handle um each each battery pack has uh 30 batteries right at 30 batteries and each one as a three amp VMS. I'm not too sure if it's actually three amp or two amp, but when I charge these on this uh, power supply here, uh, it took about three amps for about, let's say 60 seconds. Then it slowly started to dribble down to nothing until fully charged. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Got this wire here that we're gonna um, be using for the positive and negative leads. Each pack is gonna have uh, a 18. Oh no, no, my mistake. A XT60 connector uh, with some 10 gauge wire, so it'll be able to handle. Uh, it's about uh, about 55 amps. Uh, continuous with it'll get hot, but you know it'll be enough. Um, Besides, this is just for testing purposes anyway. But, you know, um, let's get into it. Uh, the next, when, when this camera cut back on, what's going to be happening is uh, you're going to see, you're going to see, uh, what are we going to see? <laughs> what are we going to see? Jeez, yeah. brain ain't working today. What are we going to see? Anybody know what we're going to see? Oh, yeah, we're going to see these. <laughs> we're going to see these connected with uh, XT60s on the end. That's the next clip coming up. All right. So y'all sit tight, you know, buckling your seat belts and stuff like that. Anyway, one more thing, mofos. You see this, uh, where's this at? Oh, there it is. All right. You see these, uh, see how thin these wires are? See how thin that is? You want to make sure you're like hot glue. If you're going to be building a pack like this, if I influenced you enough, to build a pack like this you're gonna want to find some type of way to keep these from moving around because they will break off just a heads up okay mofos got an update for you all right so this is what we doing <laughs> yeah all right so look we're gonna put this wire all right see that i'm gonna put this wire just like that and then on the end here Right there, it's gonna be an XT60 connector for the positive and negative leads. I might have to bend the wire around and bring it to a point, but yeah, that's how that's how it's gonna be. And uh, you know, basically, you're gonna wrap, I'm gonna strip these wires here. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna strip these wires down to about about right there, or how much ever I need 
to uh, wrap around here. All right. All right. So uh, next clip. I think it'll be complete. Well, just one, just one, and then you know you're gonna do that video magic thing. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, mofos. Check this out. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. The positive and negative, you know, probably I don't know, fold it over a little bit. Fold it over like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, excuse my language. I'm not supposed to be cursing on YouTube and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, um so yeah, you know, just let me show you guys just in detail how this is being done, you know, because a lot of people need help. And I'll be trying to help people, so it is a little bit too much light on this situation here. Let me see what I can do here. Yeah, I guess that's good. I guess that's good. So as you can see, I basically got them twisted up, right? And I am going to solder each individual uh, lead here to this bus bar. So this is basically, this is what I'm using. This 10 gauge wire I'm using as a bus bar. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Leave some, leave some stuff in the comments for me. What do you guys think? And mind you, these are tablet batteries, man. Tablet batteries. 1,600 watt hours. 1 1.6 kilowatts, man. Yeah. That's what's going on. And they're not that big. But as you can see, this is what's going on. <laughs> We're going to put an XT60 on here. And do the same thing over here I don't know if I'm gonna run it like out and then come come this way and then out here and then put an XT60 on the end here I don't know you guys figure it out going on mofos and here we are again this is what it's looking like ooh so I think see that Get that XT60 on the end and then do the rest you know what I'm saying just like that well I'm not gonna show me soldering this cuz I mean it's not exciting the only exciting part is going to be testing these batteries out so let's get to it well, folks quick tip before we get into the next clip um, Soldering these XT60 connectors uh, can be a bit tricky, especially if you don't do it the way I do it. And this is just a quick tip. Uh, when you're soldering uh, these connectors together, right? When you solder them together, you're going to want to connect it like so. Just like that, right? See that? Connect it like that. Solder your ends or whatever end you're going to be using. But uh, that's it. That's that's the quick tip. Alright. Alright, my foes. Check it out. What do you guys think? Look at this. I don't have good lighting here, so you know, excuse what's going on. But check it out guys. Like I said, I'm pretty excited about this. And I got my XT sixties on. All ready to go. Yeah, I know. Next step, um, I'm basically gonna snip these. See how they look? That profile, I, don't, I really don't like that. I might fold them over and uh, put some, put some uh, covering over there. I'm, I'm actually gonna cover the batteries themselves. Wait till you guys see what I use to uh, protect these batteries. You know, most of this stuff is repurposed. Uh, like this wire here, found that wire in the dumpster. I got two spools of that. Found it in the dumpster, you know? So, a lot of this stuff is repurposed. Like, uh, say for instance, uh, this here. This plastic here that I super glued, well, hot glued the wire to for stability. And it's pretty stiff, look at that. That's pretty stiff. Uh, that's 
basically some old plastic packaging from like uh, some ink cartridges or whatever. I can't remember what it came from, but I reused that. You know what I mean? Repurposing. Well, that's what I do. That's what we got, guys. So, uh, the next step is I'm going straight to testing. I'm going to plug this thing up. And you guys are going to see my little simple setup that I got. Uh, it's not high power. And, you know, these packs aren't high power either. But they do have high capacity. So, looking at 145 amp hours, 12 volt. That's 1.6 kilowatts of power here. And you now I got a little solar system and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys that too. Um, I'll show you guys that at the end. So uh, stay tuned. Scratch that plan to going into testing, mofos. Looks like uh, I got to balance these bad boys. So, uh, you know, checking these voltages, I was like, ah, oh, man. Check that out. Only I'm working with one hand here, so see that one's uh, three point nine one six. Check the center one here. What we got? Three point eight. See what I'm saying? I got to balance these things. So you know, I made up some balance wire. Let's see, you see that? Three point eight point six three. See, I got to balance them. This one. This one here is higher than the rest, so I got this, uh, let's move this out of the way. Boom. Turn that off. Got these, uh, these plugs here. And, uh, I, I actually use these to charge my, uh, e-bike. So, this has been made years ago. So, it's good that I'm still into repurposing, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, um, uh, what we're gonna do... Just plug this in here, boop, 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 and uh, charge them up to 4.2 volts. Well, probably just 4.11. I don't want to charge them fully because not every battery in this pack. You see that? These are uh, 4750 in capacity and 17.5 something watt hour. So, you know, this, this one is not up to rated capacity, but I'm still using it. And... Uh, I used repacker, um, which you can use. Yeah, you can use the same, the same thing. I'll have a link in the description for all of this stuff. So you guys go check out the link in the description. So yeah, I got I got to plug this up and start charging. You know what I mean? All right. So I got the uh, I got everything plugged up and uh, it's charging. And if you notice here, uh, if you notice, you see it says that red light is on. That means the current isn't high enough. So let's bump the current up. Let's see how high. We Reach our max current. Nope. Get that. That's still going up. And mind you, okay, so 5.41 amps. Let's see how long that lasts. You know what I mean? All right, this is the next day. This is actually the next day, man. And I'm just actually getting up. So this thing has been charging for approximately... Started 4.30 yesterday. 4.30 p.m. yesterday. This thing's been charging 19 hours. And it's still taking 4 amps right now. So... <laughs> This is crazy. That's a lot of that's a lot of amp hours put in here from uh, three point nine volts. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see what we're sitting at now. Let's see what that is. We didn't, we didn't even make it to four volts. So. Yeah, this thing's gonna be charging for a while. So uh, I'll get back to you guys when this thing is done charging. I'll do some other stuff in between times. 
you guys in a minute. Hey, mofos. Alright, this is what we doing. You know, this is, this is what's going on, but, um, <laughs> I just noticed something that, uh, this says 444. Four, four. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, this is an update. We got four volts. I'm pretty much going to probably call it here because what we have is been putting on three amps. You know, four volts. It's not all the way fully charged. And mind you, these are in parallel, so they balance out pretty evenly across the board. We got that, so boom. Do that. Or. Okay. Same voltage all the way across. So these are pretty much balanced. And I did the math, and it put in about what? 75 amp hours within 19 hours. This, this is just rounded off to 80 amp hours. That's what was put in. And it's still clocking. It's definitely still clocking. So um, I'm just going to go hook this up to the solar system. Be right. Oh, oh, one more thing. Oh, check this out. Got uh, This is how I'm going to protect it. I'm going to use this film here from uh, some TV. Came out of flat screen TV. It's got different layers. You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is going to be the protected layer for these lipos here. So stay tuned. I'll get back with you guys in a second. Okay, mofos. We got to pause it because I still got to make the balance leaves for this pack. So I'm going to make the balance leads off camera and hook it all up and then show you guys what's what. You know what I mean? And I got something else to uh, keep these... Uh, packs balanced as well so do so you guys just sit tight and you know i guess uh <clears throat> you know what whatever it is, what it is i'll see you guys in a second all right mofos we are now in my workshop well it's the dirty workshop this is where i do dirty stuff so yeah um this is my solar my little simple solar system setup that i got going on here um like I said, I'm into repurposing, so everything is repurposed all the way around the board. If you take a look, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, instead of a, sol a solar controller, I got I got a, a, a DC to DC uh, step-down buck converter. And, uh, you know, you got your uh, controls here. Yeah, uh, those two knobs here are for... Uh, voltage and amperage and you, know, you got you got uh, in and out here that's what's coming in from the solar panel right now and these batteries are pretty much fully charged um, and that's what's going out and this is uh, also a 3s battery pack mixed with uh, a lead acid battery you know I got a lead acid battery in here and, and you know they're pretty much the same so uh, 12.6 volts fully charged for this, and uh, I think uh, same thing for this 12.6, 12 12.7. 12 um, and as far as uh, what I got power and everything, I got my little. Uh, it's basically a backup, like for uh, you know when the power goes out, stuff like that. It's approximately uh, what 700 watts, something like that. I think because you know, oh no no no, yeah it is. It's it's 700 watts. It can handle 700 watts. But uh, this is uh, another battery pack I put together with 18650s. And uh, it's also a 3S, but it is a, what's that? What's three times, uh, three times, what is that? How many batteries are in there? I think it's a 10 in, 10 in uh, the, it's a 3S 10P. So that's a, three times 10 is 30 amp. That's a 30 amp battery. And uh, it can handle, it can handle up to uh, what would I say? It's, uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll scratch that out. Yeah, so basically, um, I also have a active balancer here. You guys can see that. That is a, a 3S active balancer. Just to keep my uh, cells in balance when they're being charged and discharged. Because, uh, you know, they're not going to be hooked up in parallel. They will be hooked up in series. So, um, that's what I got going on. This is, it's, it's also modified. As you can see, I modified this. And, uh, and it's got a little temperature sensor that I have not yet uh, attached to the heat sink. The first time I attached it, I wasn't even thinking as far as uh, electricity goes. And I blew one of the MOSFETs, so I had this between the heat sinks, and I wasn't realizing that the heat sinks themselves are the gate. Oh well, no, the, they are the drain. The heat sink is part of the drain. So I was like, well, damn. Turn it on, and the uh, MOSFET fucking exploded, basically. <laughs> so yeah, hey, you got to think. You got to you got to be safe when you're doing stuff like this. So uh, this is the setup, guys, and. Um, I'm basically gonna put that new 1.6 kilowatt battery in here and uh, test her out. So you guys <laughs> sit tight and I'll be right with you. And you know, everything's gonna be all put together because this video is getting kind of long. So um, I'm gonna cut it short. See you guys in a little bit. This what we got going on. She's all put away. She is totally finished. Got the active BMS on there. <sighs> All right, let's plug her up. Let's see what she does. Uh, I'm just going to plug it in and see how many amps it takes for charge. Mind you, it's charging off a of solar right now. Look at that. Went straight up. And we don't have to worry about the packs going out of balance because of the active uh, battery balancer. So it's pretty good pretty good you can check that uh you can check that out in the link in the description as well uh the other stuff in there too so um basically what we're gonna do now is uh disconnect because right now i'm connected to house power for the lights and stuff so we're gonna disconnect everything and run a few items or tools that i do have that uh it can handle so, you know, you turn this thing on. And it's actually... How, how should I put this? This this system actually works with uh, a 12-volt lead-acid battery. So, you know, the voltage difference is one, one volt difference. So, uh, it's actually supposed to be at 13.89 volts. And I'm only charging the batteries up to 12 point. 12.3 volts. That's what I got it set for. Uh, the buck converter. Anyway, the buck converter is set for 12.3 volts. Fully charged. The battery pack is 12.6. So just keep that in mind. Um, all right. So let's get to the next clip. Next clip is me plugging stuff in and testing it out. You guys stay tuned. Okay, mofos. I'm disconnected from power. And all we are running on is this battery here. So let's turn on the lights. Boom. Look at that. My little makeshift workshop here. I'll show you guys how I made it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I do a little bit of everything in this little. Got my little welder here. Uh, I do scrap, scrap copper, a little scrap copper area over here. All my uh, stuff going on here. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, let me show you guys this. Check this out. I made my own wire stripper. Real easy, nice, and simple stuff. <laughs> kind of like it. Oh, let's put this light on it. Yeah. Check that out. Basically, uh, a box cutter. You know how you got the breakaway box cutter blades? I basically used that. Drilled some holes for the wire diameter and I got a wire stripper now I mean that DIY stuff let's move that out the way 
Um, I'm about to plug in this jigsaw that I got. Sorry, check this jigsaw. Where's the jigsaw at? Here it is. Plug in this jigsaw. Let's plug this jigsaw in. <laughs> See how many watts it takes. I mean, it works. You know, it gets busy. Some old school jigsaw. Let me plug this in here. Boom. Plugged in. Uh, working with one hand here, guys. Bear with me. All right. Boom. All right. Check this out. Check this out. All right. Boom. Let's see how many watts it takes. Oh, that's we're on minutes, so it's not really gonna say. Let me switch it. Switch it to watts. All right. And. It's taking 36 watts with the lights, exhaust fan, and stuff like that on right now. So let's see what we can do. Oh, it dimmed down. Look at that. It's running now. It's taking 280 watts. That's 280 watts. I can run that continuous. That's a load. That's a load. It's running. Oh, look how the battery goes down. Battery goes down. Let's check it. Look, watch this. That initial load kind of makes those batteries go down pretty low. It's kind of crazy. But, uh,. Oh no, I mean it's working. It's definitely working. So if it can run that, I'll, I'll run everything else that I want to run in here. Um. Oh, let's try this thing. This is plugged up into the, the thing too. Let me show you guys how I got it hooked up though. I basically got this line here. You see this line here? That's going straight to the UPS to this surge protector. And I run that, run that line all the way over, and goes all the way down and around, and boom, into this surge protector, and then I got another surge protector. They say don't connect surge protectors like this, but I'm not really pulling a lot of power, so I ain't really worried about it, you know what I mean? Got my little system, DIY, copped from the thrift store, you know what I mean? And... It, I like it, so, you know, we could plug this fan up, too, I guess. Let's plug the fan up under here if we got a socket. Yeah, we got a socket. Boom. Plug that bad boy in, and let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. Here, check this out. Hold on. Put it next to here. Put it right next to there, and boom. Oh. It's dimming a little bit. 45 watts. Battery is still at 12.6, 12.5 volts. That's not bad. Uh, I don't know how good or bad that is, but uh, taking. We're doing something. Huh? But the fan is running. The fan is definitely running. Taking a total of 53 watts right now. See if this wire is getting hot. Cool to the touch. Cool to the touch. Hell yeah. So yeah. Whew. That's it, guys. That's pretty much it. You know, something simple, easy, just to show you guys. Oh yeah, and, and, and this thing here, I I spent twelve dollars on this UPS, bro. Twelve dollars. And uh, it, it works pretty good. Only thing that was wrong with it is the lead acid battery that came with it, which goes right up in there. The lead acid battery that came with it was dead, unfortunately. Like like all of them, you know. You know how that shit goes. So yeah, man, I'm chilling. Off grid, <laughs> yeah, off grid action. Gonna make uh, yeah, uh, other projects coming up. Just simple stuff. You know, uh, I'm going to expand that tank that's uh, 
this uh, compressor. I'm gonna use this. Use this tank here. Uh, you know, from Walmart. <laughs> Got that from Walmart. Never returned it. You know. Oh, let's let's run this uh, grinder too. Let's try this grinder out. That's also plugged in, and it's running. Got the lights flicker, flickering a little bit. I don't know if it's uh, from replacing that MOSFET or whatever, but uh, I don't know. Let's ramp it up. Ramp it up. Check it out. One, two, uh, it was 127. Got the fan running, lights, everything. The lights are flickering crazy though. I think uh, when it, ca I don't mind that, but I think when it catches up or something, it'll stop flickering. But I think, I think uh, it's just this thing here. It could be faulty, I don't know. It works though. That's running. So, you know, if electricity does go out. I got 1.6 kilowatts of power here to play with. And you know, it is what it is, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Ain't supposed to show stuff like that. Yeah. Got my little copper collection up here. And got some copper up there. CO2 tanks. And my welding sticks. Well, well, and you know what, guys? Uh, what can I say? What can I say? That's about it. That's about. It. I'll check you guys later. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and stuff like that. And uh, don't forget to check out those links in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.